Good morning, it's Alan. I wanted to do a uh, quick update on the hydroponic system. As you can see, I have all 24 buckets uh, done. The controller is online, and you can see that it is uh, on the fill cycle right now. And it's flashing switch error. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but uh, you can disconnect it and come back in here and it'll uh, it'll clear out. I've noticed that in the last couple of days. I'll have to contact the company and see. But uh, here are the buckets with the hydroton and you can see the water level is about an inch below what I put in here. So all I have to do now is uh, get my seeds started and start planting these guys here. Uh, and then come over here and work on each one to set the water level or to add hydroton or take away hydroton so the water level is right for each individual bucket. Uh, you can see here, here's another one where the water level is almost right. It probably could use a little bit more hydroton in it. But there's the water. And then it, it will uh, do that automatically. Uh, It'll fill up to the level that I set in that bucket over there, and then it'll go into the drain cycle. And the way that I got it set right now, it's on fill for 45 minutes, and it's on drain for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, for those of you who have done this before with ebb and flow systems, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you let me know what kind of timing you're using in yours. Uh, uh, we haven't planted, obviously, uh, haven't planted anything yet. Uh, we're going to do our seat starting over there. And then over here in this wall, we're going to have our fodder uh, grow system. And we're just going to have a bunch of those trays. I've got to still order the rest of the components for that and build a frame for it. Uh, but essentially, uh, let me move that over there. Uh, I'm looking for suggestions and what you guys have seen. I'm thinking uh, on planting uh, spinach and basil, uh, lettuce, uh, cabbages, uh, those kind of things uh, for now because it's winter time. Uh, may get started with, I may try some, a couple other things. So any suggestions you guys have uh, will be greatly appreciated. I think I'm going to also. Uh, have some pok choy uh, added to this, and uh, since because uh, I like it quite a bit, and see how that goes. And then summertime we'll probably grow. We'll be growing peppers and pimentos, uh, you know, bell peppers, uh, the reds and the greens, as well as uh, any other number of things uh, like cucumbers and stuff like that. Uh, I did find out this system is supposed to be expandable to forty-eight bucket I have 24 arranging three rows of eight uh, if you do get something like this I have um, the timer and the fuel uh, controller over here you can see has uh, three hoses coming out of the left and then the three on the right are capped for uh, presumably the expansion uh, it takes a full a drum to fill 24 of these two gallon pots. So these are two gallons each. There's 24 of them. So that's 48 gallons. That's a 58 gallon drum. So for you to expand to 48 pots, you would need to have another one of these guys here. So you would need two 55 gallon drums or 58 gallon drums. Uh, the good news is that they're fairly inexpensive and you can just uh, usually pick a Pick one up that used to have, you know, old uh, pickle juice or something like that in it, you know, pickles in it for about 15, 20 bucks. Uh, but this one's working quite well. We have the uh, air stones or the, uh, uh, yeah, the air stones uh, in it. I put two, two air stones in there. Uh, I don't know that you can see it. There we go. You can see it really good. So that's going pretty well right now. And the water should be well oxygenated. So once we put the system uh, to work uh, everything should be uh, working as designed so 
uh, think I'm gonna be very happy with this system no spillage on the floor whatsoever it's been running here for almost a week that I've had it running now and uh, God willing I'll get my uh, heat mat so I can start germinating the seeds uh, hopefully sometime this week so next week I can have some seedlings and in a couple of weeks start transplanting them in here uh, again, if any one of you have any um, suggestions or ideas, recommendations, uh, we're all open to that. Um, we're learning just like anybody else. We went from uh, aquaponics to hydroponics simply because in the wintertime here, uh, with aquaponics, you, you have to have a fish inside here because the water temperature uh, gets too low. Like right now, it's 42 degrees. So last night, you know, the water probably went down into the high 30s. And the problem with that is that the nitrifying bacteria stops working around 45 degrees. So uh, you got a problem at that point. There's no way for the excess uh, ammonia that's in the water coming out of the uh, fish tank to be properly processed because the nitrifying bacteria essentially it's not working because of the low temperature or it's working very little once it gets into the 50s I think you get like 50% reduction in, in capacity so it's not a reliable system unless you have the whole thing indoors and you're controlling it uh, and heating it up which is not something that I'm willing to do and that's why it's one of the reasons we went from you know aquaponics to hydroponics we may back to, we may uh, eventually go back to uh, aquaponics now that we've uh, rebuilt this room, uh, it's easy enough. It's staying insulated pretty well, so I think it may be okay to put like a 1500 watt heater and try it again and see if maybe uh, under those conditions uh, we can have a, a better go at it. But for right now, we're going to start everything with hydroponics to get, get things going pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, try that road and see how that goes. Uh, if we go... Uh, uh, the only way to test and see what you would do uh, commercially is to try it all and so far I think hydroponics has the edge because you don't have to worry about water temperature as much uh, or uh, yeah you don't have to worry about temperature as much because you simply have to worry only about uh, growing the crop that is appropriate for the season or the time of the year that you're in without having to worry about water temperature so anyways that's it I'm rambling on too much uh, that's the uh, hydroponic system at work. It is from this company uh, called Active Aqua. It's called GrowFlow buckets, and there's a GrowFlow controller uh, unit. Highly recommend. It seems to be for the last week that we plugged it in. It seems to be working really well. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. God bless you all and take care. Oh, it's draining now. It just went into the drain cycle, as you can see here. You can see the light in there. And you can hear it now. So there should be the pump inside the controller bucket came on. And there it is, working as it should. Very happy with this system indeed. All right, take care.